<sighs> Let's settle in and uh, do some Animal Crossing for the rest of the evening. If you're watching this later on YouTube, as always, thanks for clicking. I got some ginger tea, so just kicking back with that. Good morning, Mayor Will. Oh uh, yeah, I was gonna play at night time today. It's alright. Uh, it is not that time. But sure. It's been a couple days. How's your work on appro approval rating coming along? I can tell you the results of the latest surveys. We'll have to improve. Okay. I mean, I might just do that. I should also be pretty close to paying off the loan, so... This should be my... Totally genuine. Crazy Red would like to thank you again for your wise purchase of the Jolly Painting. I'm sure you'll feel content with your choice. Okay. okay I'm gonna throw away. This, this has extremely limited storage space of messages. And here's the thing I'm curious about. Did my trap get lucky? I haven't quite figured out what, what those traps are used for. But I did put one outside of Lucky's house. Wait, what? Another... Who? Colton, apparently. Don't know who Colton is. No, it's still there. What is the point of this thing? Oh no. When you're feeling down, you can't help looking down. Just leave me alone. I'm in a bad mood, I don't feel like talking. Why didn't why would you do this to someone? Don't come near me, my sadness is contagious. Can I can I do anything? I mean I did this to him, but like what else do you use that for? That just seems like such... Why Why would you ever use that thing? Okay, well, he's just gonna be angry now. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of comical. <laughs> like it happened right away. Last time I was waiting for it to happen and it never did, and this, like, immediately. Aww, I feel bad. I mean, he was already, already injured. <laughs> Just kicking him while he's down. What is this color, though? It's alright, I'm sure he'll cheer up. I mean, otherwise, you know, the worst thing that can happen is he moves out, and not exactly a uh, villager that I'm that much of a fan of. Oh, that reminds me. Hold on. I should be connected directly to the DS with the headset. So then fishing is, like, less of a pain. There's the cable, and into the headphone jack. Wait a minute. Why didn't it swap? Okay, hold up. <laughs> Usually it picks up on the fact that I've plugged it into something and swaps sources. Maybe I need to do it manually? Okay, hold on. Sorry, chat. Oh, 
I love this headset, but I swear it does dodgy stuff, and... It's like... Almost perfect. But then stuff like this, I don't get it. It's like clunky. It's not stopping audio source. Okay, I might just have to deal with that, because... Yeah, alright, I'll just deal with it. <sighs> it, it's only really a big deal on the hard to catch fish. Your fate rests in a snowman's eyes. Give them a spin. Here you guys. Wait. I can't see though. I don't- oh yeah, I do. I'm gonna have to make a new snowman. I'll be lucky to get the bingo, to be honest. Oh uh, yeah. A new villager moved in, hang on. Sahara is here, are you gonna judge me today? Okay, for- oh. No, we- we'll, we'll come back. We'll come back. Still don't have a slingshot! Oh. I haven't seen you before. Oh, nice to meet you. My name is Paula. Hmm? Think that greeting was kind of stiff? Well, guess I'll have to work on that. You wouldn't happen to be that Will I've been hearing about, would you? You are? Haha, <laughs> I'm... In the presence of awesomeness, heh, don't mind me. I'm just excited to meet you. I moved here because I heard some hotshot was taking over and making, oh yes, the place to be. So, nice to meet you, hotshot. Okay. I'm being stubborn here, but hold on. You know something's wrong when you go to power off your headset and it doesn't power off? This thing's so buggy. Anyway. Hey, it works now. Alright, now I'm on direct to the DS. So that's good. I don't know why I talked to you again. Okay, I'm gonna have a look for the other fossil. There should be one more somewhere. I haven't seen who's in town today either. I don't think anyone's in town. Okay, so we don't have an event today. Here we go. Oh, 
Hopefully no duplicates. Good. And we'll have our first art piece, hopefully, assuming I got it right. Oh, I, don't, I need to open the present. Of course I do. I find it interesting that with this one you kind of already have your full inventory. They did a lot in New Horizons to kind of pad out what you can do. Is it authentic? What luck? Is that a jolly painting? Yes, undoubtedly. Well, we shall take... ...very good care of this, you have my word. We'll display it later with a detailed description. Okay. I, I do miss... ...when Blathers said something unique every time. Blah, okay. <laughs> I still haven't finished the museum in New Horizons. I did the fish, I did the... No, wait, did I do the fish? I think I did the critters, but not the fish. Maybe the fish was like one more. And s the bugs were like one more as well. Um... Because it required ones that even if I went to someone's island, I can't find it because it's like tied down to a specific thing. I'm pretty sure I got all the fish. It was just the bugs left and it was kind of an annoying one to do that I had to wait until winter. And I just forgot, so... <laughs> Where do I get the slingshot? When do I get it? You... How can I help you? How about you put a slingshot for sale? <laughs> I feel like I'm going crazy. Imagine it was on sale yesterday and I just didn't play because I, I took the night off. I'd be sad. Okay, talk to her. I do appreciate you, you you're coming in so often, but... Got a ton of work to do. Okay. And she hasn't warmed up yet. There's an ice cream lamp in the shop. I didn't even notice that. I was too... Distracted by my lack of slingshot. <laughs> Let me go have a look. Oh yeah. How much is it? That's cool. Is this just a chair? I, I, I wanted to find out about the item that I was facing. Please. That's pretty cheap. It's pretty neat. What about this? Yeah. Maybe later. Oh, 
I wonder how it looks like. I'm gonna go place it. But yeah, hello hound milk, welcome, sorry. Just lamenting that the shop still hasn't sold me a slingshot. Are you still angry? No. Hey there, it's always so good to see you, Rouch. Do you need anything? It might be cold, but I'm feeling good. You think choking down on some ice cream would, like, freeze my head off? Is he aware that I just purchased an ice cream lamp, or is that just, like, a coincidence? Ah, well. I stayed up late last night, and now I'm sleep-deprived, as in Y-A-W-N. So what's up? What's the latest? Hey, you know what a wharf roach is, don't you? Any chance you could snag one for me? My bug net has a hole in it. Sure. Really nice, I'll be waiting. Why does everyone want that bug? <laughs> That's like... What, three times now? Huh, anyway. Okay. Put you away, and... Uh, display? How do... I guess... Well... I oh know, there it is. Yeah, okay. So that is its lit state. That's pretty good. Oh, and thank you for the holly. Appreciate it. I guess I may as well put away the other one. There we go. Uh, sure. <laughs> okay. You like my house so far? Oh, thank you. I haven't really done much with it yet, to be honest. I've kind of lucked out. But... Hopefully I'll... I'll make it something better later. This is my first time playing New Leaf, so I'm not sure like to what extent you can do it. The last uh, game I played was New Horizons, which I guess was my first Animal Crossing game. But when I play games, I try to make wherever my house is or whatever as nice looking as possible. Okay. I do like the carpet, though. <laughs> I lucked out on that one. Okay, uh, what am I gonna do? Let's see. Lucky item initiative. Where today is- see, I don't know where to find that out, though. Wait, you know that secret rock in town that dispenses bells? Um, but I tried doing it with a shovel and it didn't work. I guess let's find which one it is. I did try on this one. Let me just do it again. That's nothing. Am I doing? Am I doing this wrong, or is it different in New Leaf? There's another rock up here. Let's try up here. Oh, hold on. 
What are you? Sahara, don't you dare! Did you did you just scare the bug away? <laughs> you scared the bug away. The rock chains every day. Don't know if it's different in New Horizons. The way it works in New Horizons is you just hit rocks with a shovel, and then it usually gives you rocks as a material for crafting. But sometimes the rock will give you money. So you can hit it with a shovel or a uh, stone axe. Stone axe will destroy the rock, whereas a shovel doesn't. Oh no, there it is. Okay. 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 No, the, it, it's still the same, it's just... I guess because there's no stone material, that's why. I thought it wasn't working. I'm still getting used to the fact that... You don't go up to trees and shake them to get twigs and... Just stuff to constantly be recrafting your tools. I mean, it's nice. Okay. Uh, put away. Put away. Okay. Cool. Um... What about the lucky item? Where do I find out what that is? Hulls are such a smart idea to not move back. I can't believe I've never done that before. I can't take credit for it. A chat member told me about it with New Horizons, and yes, it was just brilliant. Oh, Will, I seem to recall you saying you wanted a red check shirt. Uh, if you just give me one, I'm probably just going to sell it. But, okay. Hooray. I happened to see some in the store, so I bought one for you. Couldn't pass up the opportunity. I mean, maybe to, to vary how I look, but for now I'm just going to stick to this look for a while. But yeah, it was such a game changer when I got taught to do that. <laughs> Just, you get it every time, there's no failure. I can run into that bug again. I can't believe Sahara scared it off. Otherwise, I'll just go find the wolf rich. See if there's anything new here. Nope. Okay. Gosh, I love this game's soundtrack. So far, I've been enjoying it. I think the song that I like the most is the one that plays when you're up here. It just sounds so relaxing. In fact, I'll listen to it while I'm sipping on my tea a little bit, because if I don't, it's going to get cold. Like, this track here is great. It's just so happy. Yeah, especially the, like, whistling part. Okay, anyway. <laughs> 
I kind of wish that would play out here, so then I could listen to it more. I put a lot of hours into this game as a kid. How old is this game? Or am I, am I just old? <laughs> Could just be I'm I'm just old. This was a series that I, I think I slept on. It just never lined up. I didn't have a GameCube, and when I did have a DS, um, the Switch or 3DS, the Switch released like a few months later. 2012, geez. You know, that, that feels like that wasn't that long ago, but it was 11 years ago. <laughs> like, that's a scary thought. Yeah, I wish I could have played this in its prime. I mean, New Horizons is great, like, I did enjoy playing that. But I had always heard about this one. People preferring just a little bit more, at least initially at launch. It seemed like New Horizons had less than this game. But hey, I'll... something wrong with playing it now. Plus I can put this capture card to good use. Whoa, okay. New Horizons seems fun, but the crafting system seems like a pain. It's it's not too bad. Um Like I, I guess the thing is it, it kinda gives you just more stuff to do. So it just makes the gameplay a little varied. The tools don't break that often that it's it's a pain. But I can understand why people wouldn't be a, a fan of it. Um, and I guess the other part is you can decorate a lot better. Like, you can do landscaping and uh, decorate outside your house, not just inside. But, you know, my frame of reference is New Horizons was my first game. I think if this would have been the first Animal Crossing game I played, I probably wouldn't have enjoyed the, uh, the crafting system initially. But to me, it honestly just felt like, oh, it's like Zelda. Okay, fine. Ah. The one thing I miss is when you go fishing in New Horizons, the controller rumbles. So it's like so much easier to know when to reel it in. And you also know when you got a big one on the line. Because it has a different kind of rumble. Admittedly, I messed that one up. I was impatient. I was just kind of surprised how quickly they they said that they weren't going to release major content updates anymore. Like, it seemed pretty quick. Also, I missed that. Someone called the ambulance for a broken finger. What did they do? Did they already say that for New Horizons? Yes. Um, I mean, maybe the phrasing might have been the key to that, but they said it was going to be the last update. 
But they did add the Happy Home Maker or whatever. I think it's one of those things where the devil is in the detail. Like, maybe the base game won't get upgraded anymore. But they might still release DLC. But the way that I interpreted it was like, that that's it. They're not going to do anything else with it. But it's possible that they may release more DLC. I mean, the only way to find out for sure is to go watch the direct when... Uh, Happy Home Paradise, or whatever that was, that DLC got announced. I remember being really happy they announced it, and then sad because they said that. <laughs> it was just... Like, on the one hand, yay, a major content update. On the other hand, they said they weren't going to do more. <sighs> Damn it. That point was already too late. I mean, the game's not that old, like, it released for the pandemic, and then... After, like, two years, they were already like, yeah, that's it. I mean, it was the same with Mario Maker 2, like, I would have expected more content for Mario Maker 2, but... They kind of just were like, yeah, no more. How much space do I have? Uh, oh. How about I put that away? I would imagine Nintendo would have to be close to announcing what comes next. I mean, definitely not in the first half of the year, like, I imagine it's going to happen towards the end of the year. I mean, the Switch is, is getting there in age. It's kind of scary to think that that thing is going to turn 7. Like, this is year 6, and yeah. It's entered its seventh year. <laughs> Why am I so bad at aiming this? Oh, come on. Ah, too slow. Okay, I'm gonna go pay off the rest of my debt. And then also sell this fish while I'm at it. I'm gonna walk so I can sip on my tea. Um, awesome! I finished paying off my home loan. Now to plunge further into debt. Assuming I can do that today. Welcome, welcome. Oh my goodness, it's Will. It's so good to see you. Hmm? Thanks so much for paying your home loan in full. Very good, yes, yes. 
I always had faith that you would fulfill the terms of our little agreement, Will. Now then, does your home not seem a teensy bit on the Wii side? Yes, yes, I have to say, I do feel a slightly larger home would suit you much better, hmm? More room for furniture delights and gratuitous swinging of elbows, too. If you're interested, please let me know. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, would you like to discuss your home? Hmm. Well, it is time to make your home bigger, yes, yes. A loan of 98,000 bells can make this dream a reality. Ready? Excellent. I will put your order in right away. Hmm? The work will be fully completed by tomorrow morning. So be sure... Oh, you must be very excited. Alright, cool. Yeah, I mean... I can't remember if the debt was more or less in New Horizons, but... Behind this... Very wholesome... An adorable, like, village with animals. All the shop vendors seem to go on the basis of, like, hey, the first taste is free, oh, but we're going to, like, put you into this, this system where you're just constantly paying stuff off for the rest of your life. As you can see, it's still a rather small shop, but I hope you have a fun, relaxing shopping experience. No, oh, damn it. <laughs> I pressed B. Why do controllers all have to be different? I mean... I guess it's not a controller thing, it's a platform slash game thing. Like, if I'm playing PlayStation, confirm is X. If I'm playing Nintendo games, confirm is A. And then I just have to have... If I'm not too tired, I'll remember. But then, every now and then, I'll be like, oh, crap. I'm playing like I'm playing PlayStation. And then Xbox is kind of like a bit of a wild card. It can be... I've seen it be both. Alright, feels good. Further in debt. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Ukimaru. Wait, is this another house? No, it's Colton's. I thought for a sec there was like another villager moving in. Where's the watering can? If it ain't well, it's good to get the blood pumping early in the day, Rerack. What can I help you with? S saying hi. My house just doesn't have enough stuff in it. It's too empty. Will, be a pal. Bring me some furniture. I can put it in my place. But I, I don't want to do that. I, I just I just took out a ho I just took out a home loan, dude. What do you mean, bring your furniture? I could bring you, like, fruit or food, that, that's fine. But you're asking me to, to buy you... Buy you a couch, basically. Who are my villagers? Uh, I mean, you can see a couple of them here already. You probably know this already, but... ...is my catchphrase. And I've been asking myself... Should I be saying, <laughs> what do you think? Should I stick with it or not? Stick with it. Because then I struggle with the sound effects the villagers make. If you say so, I'll just keep riding this crazy <laughs> train for a while. I really shouldn't get tripped up on stuff like that. That's not me. Ah, I feel better now. Um, I'm terrible with names, so 
Let me pop it open. And also because I haven't had any of these ever, so they're all unique to me. Friga, Vesta, Lucky, Flip, and Akati, Static, Paula. Those are my villagers. And uh, this new one. Colton. So I haven't had Colton either. I guess it's kind of nice to get ones that I didn't have in New Horizons. Although I guess I had seen Lucky before. Lucky's probably the only one that I'm aware of out of all these. I got some cuties. Which ones in particular? I like I like the monkey. Flip is flip is good. Just saying hi. In New Horizons I had Blair. Blair was cool. So I'll hang out here because I need to catch a wolf roach. Lucky, also all the monkey villages are amazing. Yeah. It's the first time I'm seeing one. But it was the starting one, that's for sure. Like, I think... My starting ones were Anakati, Lucky, and, uh... Flip. Oh, and Frigga, because it was four. I had Alice in New Horizons. I liked Alice. Just because I'm in Australia, so a koala made sense to have. We get a duck. I want a duck. This is interesting because there's no real fine control of this. It's just, okay, a house is gonna pop up and then I guess hope for the best. I'm just glad no one's built in front of my house. They've respected my privacy and left my land. Oh, I hate it when they do that. I, was, I, I reacted, but not quick enough. Alright, even with Rumble, it still gets me. I'm really glad this doesn't have what New Horizon had, which was the, um, the Nook Mile, I guess they were milestones, but kind of like achievements, I guess. Anyway, there was a, there was a fishing one, where you had to catch a hundred fish back to back without failing, and th that sucked. <laughs> it took so long. Badges. 
Uh, I mean... What do you mean by badges? What are they in New Leaf? And I'll tell you if they're there in New Horizons. Probably not, if I was to take a guess. I'm just gonna finish my tea real quick before it, like, gets too, uh, lukewarm. Give me a sec. I mean, what New Horizons had was kind of like how you have these, right? But there were ones that were uh, overarching goals. And you would get a stamp when you finished it and then earn some... something for it. So the fishing one, it was something... There was one that was catch five fish in a row, then ten, then twenty-five, fifty, and a hundred. So, I mean, it was pretty much for practically everything you would do in the game. Including getting injured or, like, anything that happened that was bad. And then you would earn some points that you could spend. That's vaguely badges without the bear. Right, okay. The thing that's tilting me so much right now is just the guy still haven't been sold a slingshot. It's been at least 20 plus presents that I've missed because of this. At this point in New Horizons, I would have crafted one by now. I try to stop complaining about it, but every time I hear the sound effect in my headphones, I just get reminded. Break balloons is in there if it's right on the edge of the cliff. I've done that a couple times, yeah. That one probably could have done it if I ran around, but it's being lazy. So I've been wondering, do you think I say rouch too much? Rouch. I like saying it all, but maybe I should be mixing things up with a cooler catchphrase. Uh See, now I feel bad by saying sorry. Alright, no prob. And you can count you to help me. So what you got for me? Um, I don't know what you should say. I mean, I could just stick... Well... I don't know. <laughs> I'm not feeling creative right now. What would an injured dog say? Uh, I really don't know. I might just... Like... 
But isn't... <laughs> it's the same thing. Alright, I'll just do Rao. But, ugh, whatever. Ow. It's <laughs> just a perpetual state of pain, why not? Yeah, sure. Ow. <laughs> you really helped me out there. Ow! Alright, I, I, I like it. That's fine. Doggo is always in pain. What was that sound? Have you noticed Flip always seems to be shouting, like, even when he's just talking? Huh? I don't think I'm that loud. Maybe you just have extra sensitive ears or something. What do you think, Will? Am I really that loud? Seem normal to me. You really think his speaking voice is normal? He sounds like a sonic boom to me. He's so loud that hearing him talk for too long makes my head hurt. Oh, I know. How about from now on, we don't speak and just communicate telepathically instead? Sound good? Okay, let's telepathize. What? <laughs> what? Cool. Did you understand what I was saying to you? Uh... What the heck does that even mean? I thought- I thought for a sec that was about to go sour, like... Hey, alright, let's just not talk. How about that, huh? You think I'm too loud? Alright, let's not talk anymore. Talking is off the table. I thought that's where it was going. I haven't checked here today. What have we got? Oh, it's the same thing from yesterday and a stack of tires. Alright. <laughs> Don't care. Right, not yesterday, the day before, but yeah. I gotta, I gotta repeat. You miss the old games when they would say mean things. When there would be means and say things like that. They would say things like that. In New Horizons, I haven't seen anything remotely close to that conversation right there. So they were passive-aggressive in all the games, okay. In old games, they would flat-out insult you, it was amazing. Well, I mean, I know one thing they do is be a little bit passive-aggressive. If you haven't played in a while, they'll say stuff like, Oh, we used to have someone that lived here that looked just like you. Just firing shots like, Hey, where have you been? Or worse, like, when they turn up to your house for a visit, and you don't want them there, you kind of walk away, and they're like, Oh, what? No, already? Like, they make you feel bad. They turn up unannounced, and then... They're like, what? Oh, are we, are we saying goodbye already? Oh, yeah, I guess let it go. I think I'm gonna go river fishing. I just I wanted the bug from here, but it's, it just hasn't appeared. 
I haven't really done much river fishing. I should do more of it. doing up here oh it's well crazy meeting you here you delay so is there something you need from me let's talk you and me should give it all we've got today you delay wait I'm going to the wrong place I was gonna go to the museum Gone to retail. I should have popped in. I don't think my stuff is sold. <laughs> my hive is still there. But I mean, I'm surprised, like, the dog did buy my fossils, so I, I guess. Maybe eventually. Oh, that's right, I have to buy food. Ugh. How much is this? 500 bells. Alright, done. I'll do that. Give him furniture. Still, still sleeping on the job, huh? Okay. Let's go deliver this furniture. Wait a minute. Who was it that wanted furniture? Oh. Oi, so what's up? What do you want? Crap and catch me a wharf roach. Okay, so no, you were the wharf roach. Who wanted the furniture? Also, hurry up. Hiya! How goes a uh, dozery rack? I'm doing great. What you need? You likey? Okay. It was flip. I was gonna say it was, if it was lucky, I'm just bringing him, him back the chair that he didn't want. Oh, a common chair. This is so great, bro. This is going in place as soon as I get home. Yeah, hey, reward time. Here. This Astro City player ought to work for you. Thanks a bunch for your help. Astro City player? Oh, I haven't said hi to you today. It's great that we've had so many chances to chat. Bye! What can I do for you? Want to chat? I've developed an interest in Feng Shui lately. Uh, so I've been reading lots of books about it. They say lucky things will happen to you if you move your furniture around. To test that, I put green items in the entrance of my room, and I had a really lucky day. I also hear it's lucky to put things, yellow things on the west side and red things on the east side. Maybe you should try it. I'd love to hear the lucky things that happen to you as well. Is that for real, or is that just... <laughs> okay. 
can't imagine that's for real. Um... I don't really have room for it. No! Alright, it's fine. Just... Uh... What? Hold on. Not that. That. Okay, and then... What does this look like? Astro CD player. Oh! It looks like a trash can. <laughs> Oh, there we go. You can add music to furniture that has audio functionality built in. Once you get music from somewhere or someone, you can add it to the music player. <laughs> I have nothing. Okay. But, I mean, I, I guess that's cool. I mean, let's switch to this view. Or maybe this view so we can see it. It just <laughs> it looks like an RT unit. Or like one of those droids. Or a bin. That's a very bulky CD player. I guess if it has a speaker built in, fair enough. Oh. Fossil. I may as well go donate it. Assuming it's not a duplicate. I guess I just got really unlucky just to find three duplicates that early. Why are you hanging up here? Well, I, at least tomorrow I'll have more of a house, so I might be able to start laying stuff out as I like. fish here for a while. something new. Okay. Is 
I think because the ocean fish salt are better, that's why I haven't really fished in the river. There's too many tiny ones here. It's hard to tell if that was a fish. Hey, there's another new one. Turn around. <laughs> oh, there's another balloon in the background I can't get. It's probably going to disappear when I go over there. Oh no, it's still here. Okay. Come here, fish. <laughs> Stop moving. I should get up. I still think the ocean is better to fish in right now. Might be able to catch it on the cliff, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna follow the balloon. Oh, I have to cross, I have to cross, I have to cross. I mean, I'm hoping I can hit it, we'll see. <laughs> Please don't be a waste of time. Please.
Oh. <laughs> I think it's gonna be on the waterfall. <laughs> Why hasn't... Why hasn't the shot had a slag shot yet? <laughs> Kim... Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Hey. Oh, okay, got it. <laughs> I was right on the edge. <laughs> Thank you for the follow as well, Bubble BT. You can do that. Yes, I discovered it by accident. As the slingshot did not get sold in the store. I still don't have one. It's been a week. Almost. So you, you just have to make do. What did we get anyway? Balloon ch a balloon chair. Okay. I seem to have found a lot of balloon stuff. I'll go have a look at how it looks like. No, go go inside the house. Don't try to fish into the door. Okay, hold on. That's the one. Display it. Oh, it's just... Yeah, I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> it's okay. Uh... I mean, I'll put this away as clothing options for later. The only thing you get from balloons in this game is balloon furniture. I got a little balloon doggo. I mean, that isn't- that isn't furniture. Balloon poo- oh, sorry, my apologies, it's a lamp. It doesn't look that great, it just looks like a balloon toy. But I got an ice cream lamp, like, hey, that's- that's nice. And... A CD player that looks like something out of Star Wars or a trash can. Okay. So I have a question about when you put stuff up for sale here, because this is my first time playing New Leaf. I've only played New Horizons ever. But like... When you put something up for sale here, the price that comes up initially, is that a recommended thing? Where you should put it for that price, or should you go lower? It's recommended? That's kind of wild. Because I put a hive for sale and it recommended 500. It recommended 500 for a hive and I was like, there's no way anyone's paying 500 for that hive. <laughs> but okay, let's... A thousand bells for my balloon chair that I went to great lengths to acquire. I risked my life, you know. I was on the edge of a cliff. So the, it recommended 500 for this, which I don't believe it's worth 500, and it's still here. That's why I was curious. I bring my used things here because they'll be new to someone else, Cannoli. You're the one who put up the big dot T on display, right? Oh, what to do? Buy it? Then I've got to have it, Cannoli. I'd like to buy this, please. Since you're right here in front of me, I'll just pay you directly, right? Nice. 
I upsell that one. The animals don't know, so they're not aware of what they're buying. Okay. Noted. I mean, you say that they don't know, but like... I swear, every time I play this game, because it's late at night here, one of them tells me to go to bed. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it's like intended that Nintendo tells you to take a break every so often, but it's kind of funny. Oh, you look tired. Maybe you should consider getting some rest. Their knowledge only goes so far, yeah. But I like to imagine they're more self-aware. Oh gosh, you look, you look really worn out. Don't forget to take a break every now and then. Speak of the devil. I oh, know one of the interactions I got earlier was pretty funny, and I hadn't seen anything like that happen in New Horizons. Like, Doggo was a bit rude, saying, Is it gonna happen again? Last night I dreamed I had to take part in an epic surfing session inside of a sauna. I was totally overheating when you showed up and saved me by dumping a bucket of water on me. Anyway, since you saved me, I got you a pit. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you got me a pyramid? I really hope you like the present, Will. What do you mean you got me a pyramid? I was gonna say, I was talking to Lucky and then suddenly he, t he turns around and goes to flip. Hey, you're talking too loud. Stop talking loud. What can I help you with? Uh, just, it, I just want to talk, that's all. Festivale is coming soon. It's a bit embarrassing to dance wearing a flamboyant outfit, but oh well, everyone in town is doing it. I'll be missing out if I don't dance with them, Rerack. Illuminati? <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm gonna see what this is. Is this going to be as bad as the pyramid I got in Stardew, where I just didn't know what to do with it? Let's see. It's too big. How, how big is this thing? Is it, is it bigger than, is it two by two? It, it's bigger, apparently it's bigger than this. Just, just how big is this thing? Oh no, there we go. <laughs> I had a dream about you last night. I have a pyramid. That's that's pretty funny. I forgot what I got in New Horizons. But I got it really early and it was gigantic and everyone wanted one. That's all I remember. It was absurdly gigantic. I think it was like a castle up gate or something like that, like an archway. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with that. Like, why would that? Why would I have that inside? Outside, maybe, but you can't do that in this game, right? Like, you can't. I guess I haven't tried, but oh, I put it away. What the heck is that emoji? Ha! <laughs> ah, uh, people's faces. It's great. The best furniture is a furniture that takes up the entire room. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna dedicate a room to the pyramids, you know?
I'm into amateur archaeology and theology and just anything that belongs in a museum. Ugh, I missed. I'm gonna use the stylus. I keep using my thumb. I'm just being lazy. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. The perch was new, the biddling was new. Yep. The other two have to go to the museum. Regulars, we had a, a running joke with each other where we would mail each other gigantic items. So the moment they were on sale, we would purchase them and then just mail gigantic items to each other. Stuff that you wouldn't know where to put, really. It was funny. Just turning on my switch and then... Uh, Firing up Animal Crossing, there's a new message, and then as soon as I, I see it's from them, I'm like, okay, what what ridiculous item is this? I mean, some of the stuff people donated was great. And I did end up using it, like, the gigantic Godzilla in front of the house. We called Jeffrey. Kind of sad I won't be able to do it in this one, but I guess we can do it for the inside of the house. Why do they do that? They don't do that at all in New Horizons, they just like... Take a bite and then are like, nah. What? No, no, there we go. I think I donated that one already. Alright, I have to make an effort to get this wharf roach. stream you called the streamer mom and all the chat sent him Mother's Day item on the horizon. Uh that's great. Oh we had a bunch of stream lore. One of the first items I found was a teddy bear so I just set up a chair and a little campfire for me and him and his name was Bamboozle. It was like a panda. And then I got bamboo and put it all around my house.
And I left a note for visitors to my island to not feed the bear. He's still, he's still there. Yeah, just regret that during that time I just didn't have a big enough drive to store VODs on, so I don't have any other footage for that. The only thing I have from my New Horizons playthrough is when I got Happy Home, whatever it was, the DLC, and started making house designs with it. It's alright, I'll do another playthrough of it at some point. Okay, where is it? I have to be quick at it. Where is it? Where's the shadow? If I'm hearing this correctly, it should be here. There it is, yep. I'm so glad you can do that. I won't be able to get all the presents, but I'll be able to get some of them. <laughs> Why am I only getting balloon stuff? Alright, I mean, I'm curious how this looks, but uh, I'm probably not going to like it. Apparently it's gigantic. How big is it? I mean, if it's an upgrade to the bed, I, I guess. Oh. This just looks like a ball pit. <laughs> <laughs> It just looks like a ball pit. It doesn't look like a bed at all. It just looks like a ball pit. This is just... It's really not functional at all. I mean, if you look at the rest of it... Like, I have an ice cream cone lamp. I, like, I guess. But this would be so uncomfortable. Like... Ugh, no. It's coming together. No, <laughs> I'm going back to the, I'm going back to the basic bed. I'd rather sleep on the floor than sleep on that balloon bed. This is coming from someone that slept on the floor. Wait, what have I done? What did I change here? Oh, the plant. Yeah. Okay. Okay, hold on. You know, I think what makes the most sense is having this next to the bed. I'm aware that I'm going to have to change this tomorrow, but, you know. Yeah, just, just put my groceries on the floor, it's fine. I mean, that balloon bed is, like, impractical. <laughs> it's as bad as a, a water bed. Do they still make those things? 
I feel like I have I haven't seen one in a very long time. I've I've seen two in my lifetime. You've never seen a grocery bag. Yeah, I mean, I've seen it for takeaway food, but I've never seen it for for groceries. No. It doesn't make much sense, really, because it's made out of paper, and that's not going to hold a lot of weight. I mean, I guess it's more environmentally friendly, but... I can't imagine carrying my groceries in a paper bag. Like, we just have those reusable fabric bags now. It could be one of those things that just Hollywood has lied to us about, where they make it seem like that's normal. Or maybe it's just a thing that's common in America, I don't know. did it once and it wasn't great, the stuff was going to fall out. Oh no, I can imagine, it just seems like a hassle. Like at that point you may as well just Go purchase a suitcase, the one with wheels, and then just bring that and store your groceries in that. Then you can just wheel them along. It's not quite a shopping trolley, but it'll do the job. I see you. I've only had a, a bag rip on me once. Because I, I put too many bottles in it. They were plastic bottles, so it was fine, but... It, it kind of went everywhere. Where is my squirrel friend? Oh. People in all yes seem kind of set in their way sometimes, right? I don't want to be like that. I want to mix things up, Rerack. So, help me think of a totally awesome greeting that'll grab everyone's attention. Okay. Um, how should Flip say hello? I, I, I am burnt out creatively. <laughs> I used all my creative energy at work today, let me tell you. I mean, all I can think about is just making Flip more Australian and just going with something Australian. But... I mean, what do people even use here? Oh. <laughs> but like... No, I'm not gonna do it. I've been trying to cut down on my use of that word because... YouTube's punishing for use of that word. Even though Aussies say it quite a bit. Good day. <laughs> no, I'd have to spell it like that. Like that. What word? What what word do you think I'm talking about that Australians say quite a bit? I feel like everyone should be aware of it at this point. 
that I would be like, hmm, YouTube is frowning upon that word. Nailed it. Core blimey. I mean, it starts with a C, so you're headed in the right direction. Gracias, bra amigo. <laughs> bra amigo. That's a new one for me. The C word, yes, it's that word. Apparently, if you use that word and you have monetization applied, it'll be like, this video is no longer suited for advertisers. Not that I have that enabled, but you know, it does end up affecting the algorithm. Just, they're less likely to recommend you. Didn't know that. It's a very recent thing. Very, very recent. YouTube has been, uh, been going pretty heavy on the policing of swear words. Like, now I think if you say a swear word within the first, I think first minute, I'd have to look it up, but it's something like you can't swear within the first minute of your video, basically. It's, it's kind of annoying. I don't have to deal with it, but yeah. Just, if you want to see what's up, go look on Twitter and just have a look at streamers. And YouTubers that have their videos demonetized because they say one swear word. It's kind of, it's kind of insane. I don't know. Not to be extremely negative on it, but like... I, I just, I can't imagine just how backwards it is. Just consider this, right? Like, advertisers pay YouTube money so then they can advertise to a specific demographic, right? So, like, let's say, let's put it in terms of me, right? Let's say I become a big YouTuber or a big streamer one day that has a lot of viewers and a lot of whatever. And so, you know, some advertisers are like, alright, I want to advertise to Will's audience. Or people like Will's audience. So, they'll set that up. And then they'll have the audacity to say, hmm, the stuff that Will's audience is watching, we don't like that because it doesn't appeal to everyone, including children. Hey, Will, can you please change your content? Change it to something that everyone can enjoy. Like, it's just insane. <laughs> Trying to change what people enjoy. Because it doesn't apply to everyone. Have I donated the bluegill? And I'm like, fuck off. I mean, I won't say the C word, but I'll definitely drop the F bomb. How about this? Just wanker? That's, that's better. It's still Australian enough. That's why it's kind of scary. Like, if this is your job and then just one insignificant thing like that can stop money from coming in. It's it's a scary thing. Not an earth. It's just because I live in Australia, I'm a little extra sensitive to the whole like, oh no, think of the children. Because for the longest amount of time we had so many games either censored or not removed or sorry, not sold here. Because children couldn't play them. Like, it's really only been the last 10 years or so where it hasn't happened as much, because we got, uh, an R18 plus rating. Ooh, what's this? That's a new one. Cool. Anyway. Isn't the C word only used for people you're friendly with? Uh, in Australia, it can be used... It can be used for either. 
Like, you can use it as a term of endearment, or you can use it as an insult. Crunchyroll got banned in Australia. Uh, no, Crunchyroll's still around. The most famous one, Left 4 Dead 2, got banned and then got re-released when they censored the living crap out of it. Um, most recently, the game RimWorld was banned because it had references to drugs. And, you know, you can't have children playing that. But it, it's, it's, it's as absurd as going, hmm, we're not going to sell cars because what if a child got behind the wheel of a car? Like, it's, it's just that stupid. You can't prevent adults from doing their thing just because a child might get their hands on it. It's, how about this? How about we make it a responsibility of, like, the parents taking interest in what their children are doing slash watching on the internet? Because let me tell you, there's far worse things out there than sex and drugs in video games. If you see some of the mind-melting stuff that's on YouTube nowadays, it's kind of insane. And I worry- I genuinely worry for the future because... <laughs> some of these videos, it's like, oh, children should not be watching this, but... There are some parents that just gives their, their kids, like, their laptop or iPad or phone or whatever, and just put autoplay on. And man, like, there's, there's a whole rabbit hole that I won't go into, but some of that content is just off the rails. Okay. Hey, yeah, yeah, no, thanks for the raid. How's it going? Another light one for you, huh? <laughs> the already here raid. Yeah. Wait, really? I already had that fish down in? Guess so. I haven't delivered the war fresh, I have to go deliver it. Uh, we were just talking about just I was lamenting on uh just the state of things on YouTube where you kind of have to watch your mouth a little bit, and it's a bit hard for Australians because use of the C word, uh, yeah, is highly, highly discouraged now. Coconut, yeah, you can't talk about- oh crap, I said it. Alright, so, uh, sorry YouTube, can you please not, uh, push my video? down, you know? Like, it would be great if you could recommend my video still, even though I said the word coconut. Oh, crap. <laughs> Commitment? Well, I mean, that that is a dirty word for some people, but... I don't think it's gonna scar children. Wow, I'm so filthy, I know. The only way I can get away with it is, like, if I pronounce it, like, can't. I mean, that might be a loophole, I just say can't. Like, that dude's a can't. It could work. Because the auto subtitles would say, I'm saying can't, as in, unable to do it. I can't do this. See? I, I think I may have discovered it. You're looking good. <laughs> For the love of, uh, I said it again. So uh, I never noticed until Flip mentioned it a while back, but apparently I say <laughs> a lot, like way too much. What do you think? Is it annoying? Should I try something else? Keep on keeping on. Really? Well, if you say so, I'll just keep riding this crazy train for a while. Yeah, I really shouldn't get tripped up on stuff like that. That's not me. Masterful, great. 
Anyway, hello, welcome. My name is Will and I play games on the internet, just in case you were wondering. There you go. Thanks, you made my day. I know it's not really enough, but please take my lovely tan puffy best. And you have to you stay awesome. Just reminds you of Oxon Wow Machinima when Wow had since a chat. <sighs> yeah. There's a streamer that I follow. Um and this is another brilliant way to do it, but I can't bring myself to do what he did. But he likes using the C word as well. And it was affecting um, him because he gets money from YouTube. So his solution was, instead of saying that word, he would just say come. So, you know, whenever he got angry at something, he would just say come. Which is okay, it's like, you know, when you think of the children, I guess the C word is, is worse. Thankfully, we have a word like come to use instead of that. I'm gonna lose all my viewers, I swear. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. You find that way more disturbing. Yeah, but like, it's a bit of a protest thing. Like, I think it's clever because it's something that's probably way worse for kids to hear. I mean, listen, kids. Kids hear swearing. Like, when they go to school, they hear swearing. Like, let's not be naive. Apparently I don't have anything. Okay. It's okay. Like, for me, it's, it's pretty easy to do, to not say that word. I just kind of treat it like I'm at work, because I would never use that, that word at work. But every other, every other swear word, it's, it's generally okay. I only really do it just to add comedic effect or just have emphasis, because I think swearing to add emphasis in smart places works, you know? But I'm not going to do it just for the sake of doing it. The only- the only time I think I did it for the sake of doing it was... I forgot what game it was, but it was, uh... Within my first year of streaming, so... None of you will know about it, because no one was really following me at that point, but like... Except maybe a couple of people. There are a couple of people that might remember it. But I was playing a game and someone... I think I just said shit. And someone complained about it that was saying... Can you please stop swearing? Just chat member, listen. Like, first of all, when you join the stream, it pops up that, hey, this this might be for mature audiences. Right? And secondly, no, because I do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> and that was it. And then they elaborated that, like, you know, I'm playing a game that children might watch. And that I should stop swearing, and then I just proceeded to drop, like, three more F-bombs. It yeah, it, it came pretty close to that. But I was being facetious, I was like... 
I don't know what I don't know what you expect when it pops up. Hey, the streamer is streaming for a mature audience. Like I did my due dil diligence on that. And I don't know. The word shit has kind of. I don't know about where you live, but like. It's not really censored anymore. Like, even in TV, you just see it. That word being used quite a bit. Like, it's kind of lost its impact. It's not as bad as it used to be. Like, I know plenty of TV shows that don't censor it anymore. You don't watch TV? Well, I mean, I don't mean I don't mean TV in the sense of like broadcast television. I mean it in the sense of like shows, right? So streaming services, that sort of stuff. I don't watch actual television either and haven't for like a very very long time. But I mean it in the sense of like media. Let's say let's just say media. Media is fine. Big fish. Give me big fish. Did it get scared? No, it's there. Is it? Is it anything good? Oh, it's a tuna. Excellent. I got something unique. I'm happy. It's ever since I, I've swapped to headphones instead of uh, using the audio that goes into the PC from the capture card. I've been able to catch fish better because there's no real audio delay. Won't shows have a rating? Yeah, they do, but I guess in the sense of like, let's say something that's rated for teenagers, right? Or like parental guidance. I feel like I've I've heard the word shit used for stuff that's in parental guidance. I might be wrong, but I feel like I've seen it. I think advertisers just need to join the 21st century. Ha. <laughs> well, wow. It's okay. I mean, I'm, I'm doing it primarily just to get into the habit of doing it. And it's, it's honestly not, not that tricky. Like, I, I can go without using that word. Your mom taught you the word shit, so parental guidance seems fair. <laughs> One thing I didn't realize until I was an adult, because I didn't, I didn't quite, I guess, understand the significance of the translation, but my parents swore a lot in Spanish. I guess some of, because some of it was slang, and then I found out what it meant as an adult, and I'm like, oh no, my parents, like, swore like sailors in front of us in Spanish. But if we ever saw an if we ever swore in English, we got into trouble. Like I think it was far worse for us to swear in English than it was in Spanish. For some reason. Don't know why.
are you doing, Lucky? <laughs> Just run running around in circles in the background. With a fishing rod, but there's, there's no... The river's here, my dude. Other people could understand it? No, no, not at all. Unless there was another Spanish-speaking person. Like, definitely a minority. Oh, why English was worse? Yeah, I guess. I guess maybe because in school we would have gotten into trouble and would have been considered delinquents, but... Yeah, I guess that makes sense. What? Lucky's angry again. Why are you angry? What happened? Yeah, it will. Let's play a game. We'll pretend we're big league general managers. I'll trade Red Jacket on my team. Pond Smelt on your team comes over to me. What? There'll be a huge... Th yeah, I mean, Pond Smelt's not really worth much, so sure. <laughs> You're a strange little monkey. Thanks for doing business with me. You're a good trader. Uh, hold on. Where is Lucky? Lucky! Lucky, where are you? Lucky was molding. Where, where is Lucky? What? Disappeared. Oh, I, I think... I think I see him. No, that's not Lucky. What? I don't know where Lucky went. I can hear it. The rec there was a record scratch. I want to see what happened, but I, I want to catch this fish as well. Hey! Ah! There you go. Why so glum, chum? What? <laughs> It's always so good to see you, Al. So what can I do for you? What's the latest? I usually like chowing down on Papa's Bravas, but a piece of fruit would really hit the spot now. I'm not picky. Yeah, okay. That's easy. Suddenly I just got happy. After talking with me. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll be back. I'm giving one anyway. Wanna eat this? There you go. Get a jack. I got two jackets. Wait, does the jacket go over the t shirt? I don't think it does. Let's see. Oh, apparently, I can't remove it once it's on. I mean, I kind of have a, a hoodie like this. So, I mean, just to mix it up a little, why not? Plus, it frees up an inventory spot. Okay, I'm gonna go donate the fish. I shouldn't be wearing... I just realized I'm wearing shorts. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be wearing shorts. 
I'm not acclimated to cold temperatures, so... Yeah, let's not do that. I'll, I'll try and purchase pants as soon as possible. <laughs> it's okay. Blathers. that chair. I think we're good. I want to sell. Yeah, well, that'll do. I'm trying not to rush too much through the, uh, the home loans. Okay. Well, chat, this is where I have to leave it for tonight, as uh, I do have work in the morning. But I want to thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed today's stream. It was fun checking out Catherine, which I did for a belated Valentine's Day stream. I'll continue playing it. Uh, it's a cool puzzle game, and yeah, I guess the story is a bit off the rails, so I do enjoy it. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow, so we'll continue that and Zelda and this, so look forward to that. Also, hey, Kat. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks for watching, especially if you're new to the stream. Appreciate you checking out the content. Whilst I'm offline, if you want to check out more of the stuff that I get up to here, uh, just look for me on YouTube. It's the easiest thing to do. Just search the channel name and you'll find me. You'll find a bunch of stuff you can watch, so. Hope you do check that out. And uh, if you have been watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Okay. Yeah, stream tomorrow. We'll do whatever we did today tomorrow, so. Look forward to that. Alright, chat. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm gonna go get some sleep. See you next time.